Hey everyone, welcome to BlackBlockchainConsultants.com. Yes, it is Education Monday, and today we are talking about blockchain as a service. We're going to talk about what it means, the industry growth, and most importantly, what we do on this channel is talk about how you can make money from the information that we're talking about. So we want you to be a part of the $3.1 trillion industry that's coming up, and this topic as well as this channel is focused on that before i get to the article of today if you want to be a part of our blockchain sorry our bbc inner circle where we uh talk about exclusive content we have uh, a group of people that are getting together to start different businesses you can come in there and find team members for your business we talk about blockchain jobs we have um a jobs board that you know all sorts of stuff that's happening within the inner circle feel free to reach out to us at blackblockchainconsultants.com to get more information okay so I want to share three articles with you. And the first one is from Industry News Insights. And it says here, global blockchain as a service market is set for rapid growth and is expected to reach $30 billion globally by 2024. $30 billion by 2024. So first question you may have is, okay, what is blockchain as a service? I really don't quite understand that. So I found this from Investopedia. Let's dig into it. Blockchain as a service is an offering that allows customers to leverage cloud-based solutions to build, host, and use their own blockchain apps, smart contracts, and functions on the blockchain while the cloud-based server provider manages all the necessary tasks and activities to keep the infrastructure agile and operational. It is an interesting development in the blockchain ecosystem that is indirectly aiding the blockchain adoption across businesses. It is based on and works similar to the concept of the SaaS or software as a service model so in other words some people for example have um, uh, amazon web services which is a cloud-based uh, infrastructure and they will put their uh, platforms lessons recordings uh, all sorts of data and databases and information on the amazon web services well blockchain as a service is the same thing so you will have these blockchain infrastructures that are created and let's say I own a small business I own ABC Inc and I supply uh, goods to Walmart while well, Walmart one day may say hey Cherie in order to continue to supply us with goods and services your company has to uh, have a blockchain platform so what I would do is I would go out and I would look at different blockchain platforms and I would say I'm going to choose this one off the shelf and I'm going to implement it within my business. Or for various reasons, I may um, be ABC company and I want to start leveraging smart contracts. Well, instead of me trying to write my own blockchain platform, I pull one off the shelf, convert it to what I need it uh, to be and deploy it. That is blockchain as a service. Okay. so. Let's go back to the $30 billion market here. So uh, BAS is what I'll call it, is expected to reach $30.5 by 2024. And this article is in regards to a research report that is coming out and i'm going to show you the price of this research report and we're also going to talk about ways that you can find some of this information online at no cost but it's a fundamental outline of the vast niche uh, presented by the global blockchain as a service market is set for rapid growth uh, article and it entails definitions classifications applications together with industry framework 
The BAS report provides a far-reaching evaluation of necessary market dynamics and the latest trends. It also highlights the regional market, prominent market players, as well as several market segments with the wide-ranging consideration of numerous divisions of their applications. So uh, let's go further here. And the report acknowledges that in these growing and promptly enhancing market circumstances, the most recent advertising and marketing details are very important to determine the performance in the forecast period and make essential choices for profitability and growth of the bass market. Um, so they talk about some of the key players within the bass market, including Microsoft, IBM, SAP, Oracle, HPE, uh, Wave, Stratus, Baidu, etc. Then you have uh, Accenture, which is coming out with its own software, KPMG, Infosys, um, PwC, Deloitte, etc. And you have more information here with regards to what's in this report. So uh, the study assessed major market elements covering the cost, capacity, utilization rate, growth rate, capacity, production, gross, usage, revenue. Uh, someone put too many uh, commas in here. Uh, supply, market share, and demand. Um, in addition, the study offers a thorough segmentation of the global bass market on the basis of geography, technology, end users, et cetera. So I want to take you to the price of this report and just show you a little bit more about what the report entails. So this is Zion Market Research. And this is the abstract, which you can go further into uh, in, into detail. And I want to show you this here. The report segments the global bass market as follows. So the first thing that you see are the segment analyses. Payment, smart contracts, supply chain, governance, identity management, and others. One of the things we always talk about on this channel is pick a niche. Pick something that you're like, you know what? I'm going to go in depth and learn about this. So without even buying this report, you already know you can, um, you can go deep within the payment system, smart contracts, supply chain, et cetera. These are going to be the segments that start producing revenue uh, quickly. Well, when I say quickly, I mean faster than some of the other use applications. So if you want to focus on something that uh, will materialize quicker, you'll want to look at these. You'll also have component segment analysis in terms of tools and services. So we have a group of, of people within our organization that are going to be blockchain generalists. We're going to be platform agnostic. So what does that mean? If a company called IBM in, for example, and said, hey, you know, would you please tell us what blockchain platform to use? IBM could not sell Oracle if that is the best solution for that company. They could not sell Microsoft or some of the smaller brands like uh, EOS or NIM or um, Dragon Chain if those are the better solutions. IBM would have to sell Hyperledger. What we want to do is have a group of people that are platform agnostic that say, you know, look, we're not here to sell you on any specific um, platform because we're, we're employed by that organization. Instead, hire us and we will look through the various platforms and suggest the best platform for you based on your needs and what you're looking to achieve. And then we'll work with you on an architecture infrastructure so that you are able to deploy that blockchain 
uh, platform accordingly. And I believe that for us, that is going to be a huge moneymaker for us, is to be able to offer that as a service. And that's one of the things we're working on within BBC. We have a group of people working on being blockchain generalists and, and um, selling that as a service. So again, if you want to be a part of what we're doing, we would welcome you. Okay, so we talked about the components here in terms of the tools and the services. Um, you also have here the vertical market segment. Uh, I'm not sure what BFSI is, I'll admit it. IT, uh, which includes uh, telecom and also cybersecurity, uh, healthcare, retail, manufacturing, logistics, government, media, energy, all sorts of divisions, real, uh, all sorts of industries, real estate, et cetera. And then they have BAS in terms of regional areas. So we're looking at North America, which I will admit will be last to adopt. <laughs> but that's good for us. That actually is good for us because we have some time to catch up. Uh, right now, Asia and the Middle East are really on top of this thing. Europe is getting on board. North America, in terms of the banks, are really getting on board in terms of supply chain. Other industries are kind of waiting in the wings. Um, Etc. So you have this here. Now I want to show you. They have their table of contents here. Oh, and you can see here that the price of this report is five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for this report. Yes, you could get this report, but I believe there are ways for you to take the content on this because there's some really great content on on just you know this sales page, but take this content and do your own research and really figure out where you wanna be within the industry. Also, uh, consider being a part of BBC and we talk about a lot of this stuff anyway. Uh, so they have here their research methodology, executive summary, their vast market in terms of dynamics. They have the industry ecosystem, the market drivers, so I'm going to say this here. If you want to know how you can get a lot of this data, Google is your friend. Going deep into Google, not just looking at the first page or two pages of a search, but going deep and looking at pages 10, 12, 14 is going to be able to help you uh, find various pieces of information. They have their free analysis as well. So they offer additional information in here. There was something that I saw here. Oh, yes, this is it here. According to IBM Institute for Business Value, by 2018, blockchain solutions will witness investment for deposit taking from about 91% 91 bank, 91 of banks out of 200 surveyed in 16 countries. In the BFSI sector, so this must be banking and financial services, banks are searching for ways and means to share financial data and customer information in a secure manner across their company as VAS is expecting to play a leading role in the mechanism. So again, you are able to read a lot more of this information here for free, okay? Um, let's see. And then you can also request the sample, but I don't think that's gonna give you much information, quite frankly. So, moral of the story. Number one is, um, the market is really huge you can set yourself up to be making you know, six figures. You can set up a business that could be doing seven, eight figures in the next few years. If you are looking for a six-figure business, let's say you wanna make 100, 150, you kinda of wanna just do things by yourself, great. We actually have a course that we did, um, uh, how to be a six-figure blockchain consultant. So you want to check that out as well. That is through the Center for Blockchain Studies. 
In January, we have a course coming up, uh, building an eight-figure blockchain business. You cannot build a seven or eight figure blockchain business by yourself. You're going to have to have a team. So the first, uh, it's going to be three sessions. The first session is going to be about the fundamentals. The second session is going to be about building teams. And then the third session is going to be about marketing your eight figure business. Um, we're in the spring time. We are going to have a special report coming out. Um, how to select the blockchain platform. And that selecting a blockchain platform along with our business courses is going to be a complete set to help you build your own business. But let's say you want a blockchain job. Great, no problem. You can take this how to select the blockchain platform and start working uh, with companies. Let's say you want to join the Deloitte team or the IBM team or or any other team, you can take this basic information and, um, and get a job. You, uh, there, there's just a ton of things that you can do in this industry. So I would suggest that you just get started. Get started, start going to networking events, start talking to people, and don't be afraid to, um, to dig in. So that's it for me. I'm Cherie Warwick head of Black Blockchain Consultants. If you need anything within regards to blockchain, we would love to assist you. We have our Blockchain 101 course. We have all sorts of other courses um, that either we have created or are creating in the new year. So you want to be a part of our group. Thank you so much and have a great day.